though not everyone realizes it, coyotes are becoming more and more of a common pest in many parts of the world. Naturally, this is a huge issue for anyone who likes to let their pets roam freely around the yard. So, when Sarah Nace of Lost Pets of Hudson Valley and Nicole Asher of Buddha Dog Rescue and Amp Recovery saw a stray dog surrounded by a pack of wild coyotes near Kingston, New York, they were justifiably worried. With their sharp teeth and wild instincts, the coyotes clearly posed a serious threat to the pup. Only, after Sarah and Nicole got a closer look, they realized a shocking truth. While it was surprising enough that Wiley was able to become a member of a coyote pack in the first place, what was really amazing is that he had such a big heart. Thank goodness Sarah, Nicole, and everyone else could give him an opportunity to share his love. Share this dog's rescue with your friends. As for the coyotes? They're still out there, running around the fields in Kingston. Only now they have one less member in their pack. Wiley, on the other hand, is gearing up to enjoy a happy, healthy life as someone's loving pet. Obviously, Wiley wouldn't have any trouble sliding right back into a domesticated life. Pretty impressive for a dog who was, effectively, raised by coyotes, right? Clearly, he was a natural at fitting in. It turned out that the dog who had just days before been living a rough and tumble lifestyle with a pack of wild coyotes was actually a big softie at heart. RBARI shelter volunteer Franny Lorita even called him a big marshmallow. All day long, Wiley would play with his toys, an activity he loved second only to getting rubbed and pet. Thankfully, Wiley defied the odds. I think he's going to be ready for adoption fairly quickly. Nicole said. He's a sweetheart. He was leaning on me, smooching on me. A lot of these rescue dogs are incredibly grateful. People think, oh my god, they're gonna be wild. But it's not the case at all. They estimated that Wiley was two years old and had been astray for around 18 months. Given this, would it be possible for him to become a happy-go-lucky dog once more? Or would his instincts be too feral? too wild, to ever be a house pet again? We don't know if he's someone's lost pet. We've been scouring the internet, calling the local authorities, Nicole said. There've been no reports of lost dogs fitting his description. We think he was either a stray or dumped. Meanwhile, Wiley's rescuers searched for microchips, missing dog queries, or any source of identification to see if they could get him back to his original home. Unfortunately, they came up empty. Wiley's rescuers gave him lots of love and affection and pumped him full of antibiotics. Lyme disease can cause rashes, headaches, and fatigue. If Sarah had not called Nicole to the scene when she did, there's no telling how much longer Wiley would have lasted out there with the coyotes. The rescue team picked off the ticks that covered Wiley's body, gave him a bath, and then tested him for diseases. Unfortunately, Wiley had Lyme disease and anaplasmosis, a condition that affected his heart rate and made him anemic. Both of these were serious issues that required immediate treatment. With the dog caught and separated from the dangerous coyote crowd, Nicole gave him a name, Wiley, after the sneaky Looney Tunes character Wiley E. Coyote. She took him to Ramapo Bergen Animal Refuge, RBARI, in Oakland, New Jersey for medical treatment. Unsurprisingly, after a long time hanging out with coyotes, Wiley was a real mess. Now that the dog knew where food would be waiting for him every night, Nicole could set a trap. It only took two nights for the stray to simply walk into the cage, no struggle necessary. The first thing we needed to do was get the dog constantly coming back to a certain spot, she explained. We set up a feeding station monitored by a trail camera. It didn't take long for the dog to show up and head straight for the all-you-can-eat buffet laid out in still. Even though this stray seemingly fit in as a member of the pack, the experts at BDRR knew he'd be much happier with a backyard, regular meals, and frequent scratches on the belly. So Nicole, 
renowned for her well, coyotes aren't exactly the Mother Teresa's of canines when it comes to trust and acceptance. Humans and other big dogs can make them a skittish, so they normally keep their distance. Contrary to this, that Nicole pointed out that it wasn't actually the first time a dog slipped into the ranks of a coyote pack. It's not unheard of. There are coy dogs out there, coyote dog hybrids, which happen when dogs and coyotes mate. But it's rarely seen he was being sighted constantly, playing with them, running with them, BDRR's founder, Nicole Asher, said in an interview. How he integrated with them we don't know. We have C, oddly enough, the stray dog appeared to have actually become a member of the pack. Sarah wanted him to have a family that could love and care for him, but she wasn't sure how to go about rescuing him. So, she called in Buddha so, when Sarah Nay saw a stray dog running around her Kingston, New York, neighborhood, she was understandably concerned for his safety. What she didn't know, however, was what would happen when he encountered the wild as coyotes push further into populated neighborhoods looking for food, they come into contact with pets. While this isn't the coyote's fault, most people know that it's definitely cause for concern if one of them gets anywhere. It seems that coyote populations spread further and further every year. While these critters might look similar to your friendly neighborhood doggo, they're actually very dangerous to man's best friend.